These videos are more authentic now that I'm wearing my pajamas. Uh, I did just wake up and this is how I would make coffee at home if I were you. Um, this is how to make coffee if you have an awful lot of tools, uh, specifically a burr grinder, a scale, and uh, filtered water. Uh, so we're gonna go through that step by step. If you want extra dork points, you want to wet your filter because there's a lot of fibers in the filter and that will get into your brew. So you put it in the brew basket and get it wet. One note about most home coffee brewers that you buy that are inexpensive, you don't want to brew the whole pot. The reason is the brew basket is always undersized uh, and you'll wind up with a giant mess all over your kitchen. Unless you like giant messes, then, then you know, go right ahead and do that. But So why don't we go ahead and pour by grams 799 grams of coffee, 800 grams of coffee. Let's call it 800. So there's a ratio of water to coffee. Um, and so we're going to take 800 grams of coffee and divide it by 16.5. So for every gram of coffee, um, you want 16.5 grams of water. That means we want 48.5 grams of coffee. Okay? That is how every cafe in the country figures out how much coffee and how much water to use. Next step is we'll pour this into our trusty Mr. Coffee. Put this guy back and we'll weigh out our 48.5 grams of coffee. All right, close enough for government work. I'm gonna pour this in my burr grinder and grind it. This is the right grind for what we call a flat bottom filter. You can see it's a little like a coarse table salt. Then I pour this into my filter basket. Now give it your machine a little shake, not so much that you break anything, but what that does is it levels the bed of grounds. Flip the top back and hit start. That's it. All right, Mr. Coffee, the cheapest one in the aisle at the grocery store, has a really cool feature. Sometimes, you never know. You can stir, if you're very gentle, the grounds into the water while it's brewing. You don't want to do this for the whole brew cycle, but just enough to get all the grounds mixed with all the water, and please be careful that you don't rip the filter while you do this. Flip the top back down and that'll make a better extraction. All right, welcome to the end of the brew. We have a pot of coffee that is going to be very delicious, I promise. Um, extra dark points. Turn off if you don't have a thermal carafe. There's a hot plate under here and coffee as it cooks tastes terrible. So just drink this, brew as much as you need, turn it off, please. Second, um, it's real nice to drink out of a preheated mug. Um, I like to drink out of mugs that I care about. These are really great mugs. So let's pour this out. Final dork point. Share coffee with someone you love. Coffee is to be shared and it's a bonding experience. And that's how to make coffee with a lot of tools.